Welcome back to Gone Home. Thank you for joining me again. I'm glad you're here. We're here in the kitchen of the big spooky house. We uh, looked in the dining room in the last episode, so um, we're going to look in the kitchen this time. We already looked in the fridge. Yes, we looked in the fridge. Uh, we found another boombox here without any speakers. I still don't understand these things. Uh, so we're probably, probably going to find a cassette in here, wouldn't you think? Uh, let's just start right off and uh, look in the drawer here. And what do you know, there's the cassette right there. There is a pack of cards. Let's get that out of the way, because there could be something underneath of the pack of cards. It doesn't look like a cassette. Bratmobile, some special. And uh, I'm going to put this in here. Okay, it's just going to play music. Uh, I talked about that last time. I'm not going to play the music. Okay, what does this say? Read shipping label. Unknown dimension literature. Terrence Greenbrier. Oh no, it's a box full of books. The Accidental Savior. Author. Oh, another unknown dimension literature discovery. November 21st, 1963. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance. But who would believe him? Huh. So I guess these um, were returned. Right? They didn't sell. I, that, I mean, that's I, that has to be what this is, right? Why else would the uh, these people be sending it to him? So it looks like uh, Dad's writing career isn't much of a career, sadly, for him. What's going on down here? Anything interesting here on this little bookshelf in the kitchen? We've got the Booth Bay Cookbook. Cooking low-fat for the whole family. Pastries with ease. Pies. Quick and easy. Mother's best desserts. Okay. What's going on in here? Anything? No, just some uh, um, linens and mugs. More plates and glasses. What's in here? No crumbled piece of paper? What's this? The hell? Oh, it's the garage. Okay. Alright, well, let's. Um, Let's finish looking in the kitchen before we look in the garage. One room at a time, please. Now, they eat a lot of pizza. And they eat all of it. They didn't save any for me. Bastards. Read story. Samantha and Daniel were in the woods one day. I think that says Daniel. It's a weird way to spell it. It was sunny, and they were on a uh, adventure, I guess. But they went to the bad part of the woods... And it got dark. Daniel said, Are you scared? <laughs> so, Smatha, she didn't even know how to spell her name all of a sudden, said, No. Are you? They, I guess maybe this was say, laughed and maybe went more into the bad part. Then they, what is he, went to a part that was never there before and there was a ship a pirate ship okay on a ocean Samantha said I'll be the captain and you be the first mate Daniel said aye aye captain and they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away and there they are yeah Daniel's a boy Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. Hmm. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. Aww. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how he used to be friends. How much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. Hmm. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. Oh, that's nice. For some reason, I almost believed him. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh, look at this ancient dishwasher. <laughs> well, again, it's 1995. Alright, 
Doesn't look like there's anything interesting in the dishwasher. Come on now, we don't have to look everywhere. Grab the cutting board. Look at the cutting board. No secret messages on the cutting board. Cookie jar lid. No secret messages on the cookie jar lid. Nope. Microwave. Nothing. Beep, beep, beep. Oops. Whack myself in the head with the microwave door. Okay. Huh, I wonder why these drawers are all pulled out. What's going on here? Why is this drawer pulled out? <laughs> the pot is sticking through the drawer there. Why is this place all messed up? Look at this. It's like... These cabinets are... Maybe they're just assembling them? Maybe... Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're remodeling? I don't know. I don't have an answer. I don't have an answer for you. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, nothing going on there. Yeah, I guess maybe they're redoing the kitchen. I don't know. June. Huh. Katie comes home this month. We'll call with exact date. Okay. Oh. Can't make it send regrets. Rick's wedding. Anniversary trip. Is that where they are? They on an anniversary trip right now? Is that where they are? Because, um... Items. Boarding pass. June 6th, right? So, it's June 7th now, I believe. This this game takes place on June 7th. And the... F so, they're, they're on an anniversary trip. That's where they are. Okay. Huh. I find it odd that we're just now finding that out. But Rick getting married. Although it looks like it's crossed out. I guess they crossed it out simply because they couldn't make it. So maybe once Rick got married, she's like, hey, let's rekindle things. Let's go on an anniversary trip. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Charity junk pickup. Basement. Noon. Okay. Oh, got a busy month. Dentist Sam. Forest Loop Trail Hike Event. That's a lot of days. Church Potluck. Scalloped Potatoes. Cushing Elementary Public Areas Cleanup. Okay. Well, that's a busy month. Well, at least now we know where the folks are. They are on an anniversary trip. Huh. I wonder if they even know that she's home. You know, they probably don't because it says we'll call with exact date. Maybe she called while they were already gone. So they probably don't even know. They might not even know. French desserts. Grilled cuisine. The fun of cooking. Braising a handbook. It'd be funny if we could see the speed dial. Who they've got in speed dial. Men are what their mothers made them. Okay, we don't need to read all that. Read letter. Congratulations on your new position, Bruce H Pendleton, Head of Personnel, State Forestry Service. Dear Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier, what a title. Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position as Regional Conservation Director at the State Forestry Service. We wish you luck in your final weeks at Flint Rock National Forest and very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State Forestry Office at 8 a.m. on May 1st. Well, good, she took the job. April 10th. Good, I'm glad she took the job. Turn on these lights. Hey, look, a three-ring binder. With absolutely nothing in it that we can look at. Okay. Well, um, I guess we gotta look in here, don't we? Yeah, more potato chips. Uh, hamburger dinner. Okay. Do I really need to look at all these? Hippos. Is this a cereal? Hippos, sweet and artificial fruit flavored cereal. <laughs> Somebody did the maze. <laughs> that amuses me for some reason. Lemon lime soda cake. Hmm. Hmm, I can't even imagine what that would taste like. Broom, dustpan. We got some bottles down here. 
Oh, come on. There's got to be a clue in here, right? It's kind of looking like maybe not. Like, this is just... Okay, this is the pantry. Salad dressing. Ketchup. More salad dressing. Brand fiber. Honey snaps. <laughs> okay. Fuel for winners. Alright. I'm not really finding anything in here. Okay. Alright, well, it's just the pantry. Nothing to get too excited about. Nothing there either. Well, let's go out in the garage in this little mud room here. Paint cans, paint cans. Finch interior. Book. Ooh, the accidental pariah. Another unknown dimension literature discovery. A message from our future saved the president's president once. But within 24 hours, there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. Read pages. March 28th, 1995, Unknown Dimension. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say that I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged-in bibliophiles type of out-there, mass-market shunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like timeless works such as N.N. Bestman's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller, and Emil Krager's oft-banned Venusian Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, We've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into 20th century civilization's anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick-swinging heroes that modern suburban America wants, but John Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history-revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the, the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward for the books to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds, contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you, and to thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. Medish Kaczynski Publisher? Huh. Okay. Huh. This was March 28th. So this is the new one, obviously. What was the... Is there a date? There's probably not a date on this box, is there? So yeah, I don't know what the uh, deal is with these, really. Did they send these back to him? Uh, I mean, I have to think they did, right? Why else would they be sending them a box full of his books? Here's a garage. It doesn't really look deep enough to hold any cars. Grab hat. ROTC. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. 
no contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... gone. Just gone. Poor Sam. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend selling, celebrating our anniversary June 3rd through 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. Hmm, so they just kind of left her here. I mean, she's old enough, you know, I guess. Milk, okay, so these are recyclables. Name tag, Sam. Crown Burger. Ask me about clown combos. Crumpled notes. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we have the run of the whole house till you leave. Imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Lonnie, you are gross. Never change, Sam. So, Sam and Lonnie the whole weekend to the place themselves. But um, apparently, so, I mean, this right here tells us that Lonnie hasn't shipped, off, shipped out yet, right? So they must have just left. Like within the last couple of days, or maybe even today, um, because this is the day they were actually this is the day they were supposed to come back, right? Well, maybe they'll be back tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of a I don't know. It seems like there should be another exit here from this kitchen, especially when you consider that uh, there's a long hallway going down here. So I would have put in another exit, but hey, you know. Ooh, a panel. Loose panel. I sent this one from Barcelona. And she went all over the place. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I have had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the gaudy architecture. It is from a strange alien world. I am headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money. I will look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home, love, Katie. Okay, so that kind of explains why she waited so long to tell them when she was coming home. So here's a crumpled note behind a loose panel. Booted out. Girl Scout. Last show ever. A going away show for Lonnie D. All ages. Saturday, June 3rd. The Tonic. Okay. Huh. All right. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. Hmm. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Ooh. Damn. So this was June 3rd, and she said 48 hours left. Right? And, um... The folks left... on the 3rd. So does that mean that maybe they took off on the 5th? Or maybe she shipped out on the 5th? 
And Lonnie, or uh, Sam, just decided to go someplace on her own. 